Hi guys, welcome back. I've got something super, um, super cool for you today. Um, it's something very interesting and something that um, was kind of in my mind for, for a while now. Um, I've got um, something for the post um, yesterday and it's something I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. I've been trying to find it online and there was not much luck um, so far. Um, but right now I've got it in my hands and I can show it to you. So this is the little um, parcel that came for the post um, yesterday and um, the contents of it is a huge part of my childhood. Uh, well, not necessarily what actually is inside, but what it represents um, by itself. So, um, as you probably know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, of computing, uh, of technology in general. Um, and this is something that will take me back to um, when I was just a little boy. Um, this is um, a, a retro kit of, um, like, a, like a copy of, of an IBM computer. So, all I've done to it is just I've opened it to make sure that it's, it's not damaged, um, but I, I haven't actually opened any of the little parcels inside, so let's just open it together. Um, so there are two big things in there. One, which is the main piece, and this is the motherboard. This is, um, it's probably going to be a bit noisy because it's in a foil, but this is a copy of a motherboard um, of an IBM computer, which uh, I will show you um, in a second, um, I'll show you the, the actual real thing. Um, the, so this, this comes with a little um, manual here, a little explanation of how to solder things together. But it's basically just um, a blank um, canvas, blank um, PCB, um, and we need to put it together, or I need to put it together. So I'll put it aside for a moment. I'll show you the other um, parcel that's inside that contains more bits and bobs. Here you go. So these are all the all the pieces, um, all the remaining pieces needed to build this computer. Um, there is also a CD with with software on it, um, and it actually says on it that it's uh, an IBM uh, PC fifty one fifty, a clone of it basically. So uh, I'll I'll show you all the little bits uh, in just a second. Let's just open the uh, the motherboard first. All right. And here it is. In all its glory, this is the um, the copy of of the motherboard, and I will show you just over here um, the original thing. Um, so this this is basically, as I said, a blank canvas, um, and uh, you know it's a kit, obviously. So it, it basically um, guides you through the process, kind of thing, but. Um, you still have to build the whole thing yourself. This is the only one I have found so far on the internet that um, is available and this is I think due to the um, the licensing um, of these computers and, and you know not many companies can actually make these clones um, but this is super cool I must admit this is something huge for me um, this is like the first attempt um, to for me at least to build uh, an old computer myself Obviously, I can't produce the PCBs, um, but this is why um, th this is here. So, um, the PCB aside, actually, I'll show you um, a little bit on it. So, I believe this is the section for memory. Um, so, by default, the, only these eight ports here um, contain chips, and the rest only contain um, the, uh, the ports. Uh, 64 kilobytes of RAM memory. Um, and uh, it's running a BIOS. Um, I believe this is, uh, let me just have a look at the, oh, it's Anon Bion, uh, BIOS, but I think it's a copy of, um, of the BIOS installed on uh, very, very old Microsoft computers. Um, so yes, yeah, so the, the, the board actually contains, well, all the old necessary holes for each component. So pretty much all you have to do to to make it work is to solder it at the back because this is all um, this is all um, ready for you to um, to use basically or to solder. Um, so let's put it aside for now. Let's see what we have here. Um, so so it, the, the motherboard comes with this little um, a little manual type of thing. It's not really a manual because it doesn't explain anything. It just shows where things go roughly um, and. Um, 
it, so this is like a, a, a printout of the motherboard on A4 sheet and it has some, um, not all, but some um, components on it. Um, so this is pretty much what I'm going to install on this motherboard there. Um, on top of all that, on top of all that, we also have a little bag with components here um, and a CD, obviously. Uh, so let me just show you what's inside. So these are all the all the ports, all the um, uh, sockets, let's call it, uh, for uh, components for all these components over there and some more. So some of these are going to be used for the chips, others are going to be used for the peripherals because you can, um, as you can see on here, on the motherboard, um, if I remember correctly, these are the um, these are where um, where the ports for cards are going into and I might have them in a bag, I'll show you in a second. So basically, um, this is just a motherboard and the, the chips just make it work, but it, they don't actually uh, make it talk to anything outside of itself. Um, so in order to have a video, audio, or no, whatnot, you know, to speak to the printer, it needs um, peripherals, it needs cards uh, to be plugged into these ports here. Um, let me see what's in the little bag here. So we have a little speaker, I probably won't be using it because I hate speakers on computers, uh, especially the, the PC speakers, which is exactly what it, this is. Um, but it, the original came with the speaker, so this obviously has one as well. Next we have, uh, what is this? This is the memory bank. Okay, I won't be opening this right now because it's all sealed, um, but basically it contains eight chips, or, or nine chips in fact. Um, of, of memory and the total of it is 64 kilobytes um, so this is all nicely sealed I'll, I'll, I'll uh, use it later when I install the whole thing then we have uh, these are the peripheral ports um, or oh, like a um, mouse and keyboard and whatnot um, so again this needs to be installed and then you can plug stuff into it you can't just plug it into the motherboard obviously um, so this is what you need to plug in your peripherals. And as I've mentioned before, this is one of the ports for the cards. So if you want to connect, for example, uh, a printer to your computer, um, well, you might, might be able to, uh, to do it with one of these if it's old enough printer. Um, I doubt it though. Um, but it usually needs a card to speak to the printer. Um, and and uh, for that you need the, one of these ports to actually um, plug it into the motherboard. So these ports would go in here and I'll be showing this in one of the later videos. So the next thing we have there is a little pack. Uh, four types of um, capacitors um, and it's obviously going to be installed on the uh, on the motherboard as well, um, without them the whole thing can't work obviously. Um, so let's just move on to the next thing. So we have four of these um, card ports, let's call them. The CD, which is from the PC Retro, this is the company that made the whole thing. They're not a sponsor but um, uh, they just make awesome stuff basically. And the last part of the uh, parcel is this little um, envelope with resistors. So all these things, uh, they're obviously nicely sealed so I won't open them right now, but um, all these things are going to be installed on this motherboard um, and I'll be uh, showing you the, pros, the, the progress of the, uh, of the build. Um, I'll be doing the whole thing myself. I really hope it's going to work um, in the end. I haven't tested it myself yet, this is the first time I'm um, I'm looking at this um, this kit, um, and this is pretty much the only one I managed to find, uh, find online um, that actually um, works. Like the old computer has the uh, has its software, and um, and and it looks you know similar enough to the to, to the original thing. Obviously, it doesn't have the um, the, the you know the, all the peripherals like the, like the original screen or, or or the keyboard or anything, um, uh, but you know it's. It's the, the, the closest it can get um, to the old computing, to the retro computing, um, as I managed to, to, to find online. Um, so this is, this is basically um, what I love doing. I love building computers. My, 
Um, my uh, kind of goal or dream is to one day build my own Mac One, um, but I would like to build it myself. Uh, obviously, the only thing I need to manufacture is the, the PCB, just like this one, um, because I can't make it myself at home, but um, everything else can be bought online, so um, we can easily um, make it ourselves. Obviously, the, the software is a different story. It's, it's more slightly patented, and it's going to be difficult to um, get your hands on it. But uh, saying that, this, this is technology from 30 years ago, so... Um, with current um, knowledge and technology, it should be easy enough to, to make it yourself, to kind of rebuild it from scratch if you understand in, uh, programming enough, if you understand how uh, computers used to work back then, um, you can actually make it yourself. Um, what, uh, what we have here is obviously um, really, um, really old technology, so compared to any normal computer uh, these days, this is nowhere near the uh, the capabilities uh, or has nowhere, nowhere near the, the power um, of, of what today's computers can do um, therefore you know you shouldn't really expect much from it but it's you know the it's the experience it's the experience of building it experience of um, making it yourself and kind of feeling like you are back 30 years ago when it was actually developed um, and you know it, 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 just knowing the boundaries that people had to work with back then with with these old computers um, kind of makes you appreciate today's computing more um, and how far the technology um, gone um, since then. Um, so basically um, this is like a little project that I would like to um, start with um, but uh, in the future I'm hoping to to make more uh, computers. Hopefully I'll find more kits like these because they're, they're awesome um, and uh, they're kind of you know easier to, to work with than uh, you know, searching for all the uh, schematics and, and all the parts on your own. This is just coming with everything in one box or in one envelope. And you can just um, just solder it together and make it work yourself without the hassle of, of searching. But this could be an adventure as well. Uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean that um, uh, it's going to be um, much easier to build this than if I found the parts myself. But, um, you know, the the, the, the fact that someone actually went through this before and they know it works, they, they know these parts are exactly what you need, kind of makes me feel more comfortable building uh, this as my first kit, um, at least of this kind. Um, I've built um, hundreds of computers um, over the last 20 years, um, but they all kind of did the new type, you know, you never make it yourself, you never create the, the computer itself, you always just put parts together. Um, and this is kind of a completely different um, experience than um, soldering each part um, uh, you know, to the motherboard and, and making the whole thing work um, yourself. Um, it kind of feels more personal than uh, buying a ready-made graphics card or ready-made uh, sound card and just plugging it into your computer. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a completely different experience than, um, than in, in, you know, these days when you buy a computer and everything is ready-made for you. You can buy components, but it's limited to just plugging them in and maybe some wiring. Um, so, because this is my uh, my huge passion, um, I love building computers, I love, I love electronics, um, I will try to film the process of, of making this kit um, and I hope to help you guys um, with, with your uh, builds in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.